What's your problem? I'm too smart for the first grade. My sister's in grade three, and I'm smarter than her, too. Well, then let's go see what the principal has to say. Okay. How about I give him a test, and if he fails just one question, he has to go back to class and be quiet. Okay, what's three times three? Nine. Six times six? Thirty-six. I see no reason why he can't go to the third grade. He answered all my questions right. Can I ask him some questions? Of course, go ahead. What does a cow have four of that I only have two of? Legs. What do you have in your pants that I don't have? Pockets. What does a dog do that a man steps into? Pants. What starts with F and ends with K? Fire truck. Put him in the sixth grade. I got the last four questions wrong myself. <gasps>
couldn't believe what I did during my three day stay in La Fortuna. The first day we hopped on a bus to go on a safari float. We saw a bunch of animals like crocodiles, sloths, owls, toucans, and these monkeys that we went under and they almost did their business on me. Sadly, they got a little bit on my shoe. In the afternoon, we went to La Fortuna waterfall and got to swim beside it. The waves were very strong as you can see for me struggling to swim. The next day we went horseback riding to the volcano. Unfortunately, I couldn't get any good clips while we were riding, but on the way back we got to gallop at full speed which was fun. In the afternoon we walked through the forest to get to the hanging bridges, then on the way back we saw some spider monkeys. After that we stopped at the natural hot springs until it got dark. On the last day we went on 12 zip lines and by the time we finished that and ate, it was almost dark outside so we just explored the town for a bit then went to the hot springs at our resort. I couldn't include everything in this video like these scooters that we rented to get around town and our meals which was some of the best food I've ever tasted in my life. The next morning we rented a car to go to our final stop of the trip but before we left we went to the rope swing which was super fun. Mom, did you change the Wi-Fi password? Oh, yeah I did. The new password is 123456. Okay, thanks. It didn't work. Huh? What did you type? 123456. No, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Excuse me, sir. Is this bike for sale? Yes, it is. Would you like to purchase it? Mm, what's the lowest you'll go? What's the lowest I'll go? <sighs> Probably like two miles per hour. Anything slower and you'll tip over. This hotel sucks. Why? What's wrong? Last night, I got no sleep. Every 15 minutes, this loud banging noise woke me up. Oh, I'm so sorry. How was your guys' stay? Terrible! The guy in the room beside us was snoring so loud that we had to bang on the wall every 15 minutes to wake him up. <gasps> this boy said he got a pencil stuck in his ear, but it turned out to be something much worse. This boy went to the hospital with his grandma after saying he snapped the pencil in his ear. Apparently he was playing in it with his ear when it accidentally snapped off. While the doctor was trying to find something in his ear with a camera, he asked the boy to describe it. And the boy said it was just a small piece. The doctor wanted to remove it as soon as possible, because leaving it in his ear for too long could cause an infection or even death. But when the doctor was pulling it out, he realized the boy was lying about what was actually in his ear. Instead of pulling out part of a pencil, he pulled out a watch battery. The doctor also said he couldn't see his eardrum anymore because the battery made a hole in it. But luckily they regrow and it should be back to normal within 6 weeks. 5 animals that can live after death. Chickens can live without their heads as long as their brain stems aren't cut off because most of their motor functions aren't controlled by the brain but by the brain stems. Salamanders have the ability to regenerate limbs and organs so they don't die. When they're old enough they could regenerate again and again, even their brain, heart, and spinal cord. After a snake loses its head it still has hours to live so you better stay away from its head because it can still inject you with its venom even after death. Flatworms can rebuild any part of its body after it's cut off. If they're cut in half the head will rebuild the tail and vice versa resulting in two flatworms. Cockroaches are resistant to radiation and are most likely to survive a nuclear attack. They can live after decapitation for a long time, but since they can't eat, they die of starvation.